Hi, and welcome to... Um, you know, uh, uh, basically these problems are going to have one number relating to another number. Sometimes it's age, sometimes it's distance, things like that. And I think uh, word problems, just like anything else in life, the easiest way to learn how to do them is just to, to see some examples. So let's go and, and find those examples. The, um, the first problem that we're going to do and talk about is on your board here, and it, and it says on your screen right here, and it says uh, four times a number increased by two is equal to 30. Okay, what is the number? Okay, the number one thing you need to do when you're solving word problems, any kind of problem that has a sentence involved in it is called a word problem, okay, is you have to understand what it's actually have to solve uh, to solve that equation and here's your answer. Now the great thing about word problems, actually the great thing about algebra in general, but especially word problems, is uh, you know uh, you can always check your work, okay, always, 100%, almost always you can check your work, okay, and uh, you should do that with every problem and it's really easy to do because now that you've figured out what the number is, which we said now it's equal to 7, you want to see if, if that's the right answer. So that's the great thing when you're taking a test, you'll always know if it's right. So don't pass up the opportunity to figure out if you did the right, the right thing. So now if your number is equal to 7, which is what we said, let's just read the problem one more time. 4 times a number, okay, uh, or 10 plus 6, the number of games won plus the number of games lost, is the total number of games. So what you're doing here when you check is you're just making sure that the answer you got makes sense with the word problem that you had. So this is the problem. This is the checking, okay? Next problem. You have 55 pecans, okay, and they're placed into two buckets such that one bucket has 15 more pecans than the other bucket, okay? How many buckets, how many pecans are in each bucket? So again, let's read it one more time. 55 pecans total, and you have two buckets in front of you, okay? By three, so x is going to be equal to 12. Okay, because 36 divided by 3 gives you 12. Now we're, we're halfway home, okay, because we already solved one of the equations. Now, moving over here, now that we know this, we know a value for x, we can plug it into here and find what y is equal to. So y is equal to x plus 1, y is equal to 12 plus 1. We just plugged in our value for x that we have the answer. So y is equal to 13, okay? And now that we know what y is, we can find z. Z is equal to Y plus 1, which is 13 plus 1. Involve, uh, you know, anything other than that. You have number, one number and another number, and they're related by some information. And you just have to practice uh, on taking that information out of the problem, writing it down into your equations, so you can solve them.